if you've been to the CS booth a couple times before, we have called this perceptual computing in the past. This is our new branded technology name around perceptual computing. And the idea really is, is Intel just wants to expand the ways you interact with devices. Like right here we've got a game where we're basically just taking your hand, the 3D camera recognizes your hand and you're able to help transport the little minions across from one side over to the other side. It's a very basic demo just to showcase what the actual camera can really do. What we're showing is creative cameras here and in the future you're going to start to see those getting smaller and smaller but our technology is what really makes this gesture happen. So a real life example could be you're in the kitchen and you want to swipe through the cookbook, you don't want to touch it because your hands are messy, all of that. It's really easy just to use gesture control. We can't show it here because voice is very loud in the CS arena, uh, but voice is also part of this and it's being able to naturally speak to your PC. So it's all about different ways you can interact with your PC. We definitely want to work with developers, make sure that we're integrating uh, the idea of 3D cameras into their applications and I mentioned earlier that these cameras are just going to get smaller so they're actually going to get integrated into the device so if you look at it you've got you know a big camera sitting there as it gets integrated in it's just going to be more natural in how you interact and more and more developers will come out. Gaming with the Kinect, the first generation of it Really, it was all about you know your overall body movement. Since this is a PC, you want to make sure it's very, a lot more finite and it it's, understands the depth exactly and accurately because you do want to be able to do those more you know fine uh, applications. The Creative Camera is actually available today for purchase, so you can buy it. In the future, as it gets integrated into the devices, you know it's going to become a standard. Like like a webcam is standard in today's laptops you're going to start to see 3D cameras beat up standard in there.